Hello, teacher and students. My name is Nathan Castro, and I'm going to talk about George Washington. Who was George Washington? George Washington was commander in chief of the Continental Army during the American Revolutionary War and served two terms as the first United States president from 1789 to 1797 and the son of a prosperous planter. Washington was raised in Colonial Virginia. As a young man, he worked as a surveyor, then fought in the French and Indian War. During the American Revolution, he led the colonial forces to victory over the British and became a national hero. In 1787, he was elected president of the convention that wrote the United States Constitution. Two years later, Washington became America's first president, realizing that the way he handled the job would impact how future presidents approach the position. He handed down a legacy of strength, integrity, and national purpose. Less than three years after leaving office, he died at his Virginia plantation, Mount Vernon, at age 67. Why is George Washington famous? One of the most popular presidents in the United States, George Washington, is known for leading the Continental Army in victory over the British in the American Revolution. He also was the first president of the United States and helped to define what role of the president would be going forward. George Washington's life. Growing up, George grew up in colonial Virginia. His father, a landowner and planter, died when George was just 11 years old. Fortunately, George had an older brother named Lawrence who took good care of him. Lawrence helped to raise George and taught him how to be a gentleman. Lawrence made sure that he was educated in the basic subjects, like reading and math. When George turned 16, he went to work as a surveyor, where he took measurements of new lands, mapping them out in detail. A few years later, George became a leader with the Virginia Militia and became involved in the start of the French and Indian War. At one point during the war, he narrowly escaped death when his horse was shot out from under him. Before the Revolution, after French and Indian War, George settled down and married the widow Martha Dandridge Custis. He took over the state of Mount Vernon after his brother Lawrence died and raised Martha's two children from her former marriage. George and Martha never had kids of their own. George became a large landowner and was elected to the Virginian legislature. Soon, George and his fellow landowners became upset with the unfair treatment by their British rulers. They began to argue and fight for their rights. When the British refused, they decided to go to war. The American Revolution and leading the army. George was one of Virginia's delegates at the First and Second Continental Congress. This was a group of representatives from each colony who decided to fight the British together. In May, of 1775, they appointed Washington as General of the Continental Army. George Washington did not have an easy task. He had a disorganized army of colonial farmers to fight trained British soldiers. However, he managed to hold the army together even when tough times and losing battles. Over the course of six years, George led the army to victory over the British. His victories include the famous crossing of the Delaware River on Christmas and the final victory at Yorktown, Virginia. The British army surrendered in Yorktown October 17, 1781. Washington's Presidency The two times Washington served as president were peaceful times. During this time, George established many roles and traditions of the President of the United States that still stand today. He helped build and guide the formation of the actual U.S. government from the words of the Constitution. He formed the first presidential cabinet, which included his friends Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton. George stepped down from the presidency after eight years, or two terms. He felt it was important that the president didn't become too powerful or rule too long, like a king. How did he die? Just a few years after leaving the office of president, Washington got a bad cold. He was soon very sick with a throat infection and died on December 14, 1799. Fun facts about George Washington. He was the only president unanimously elected, meaning that all of the state representatives voted for him. He never served as president in the Washington DC. The capital was named for him in his first year. The capital was in New York City then moved to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 
He was six foot tall, which was very tall for the 17th century. The story of George Washington chopping down his father's cherry tree is considered fiction and likely never happened. George Washington did not have wooden teeth, but did wear dentures made from ivory. Washington gave freedom to all his slaves at his will. Thanks for watching and bye!